Hello fellow adventurers! Welcome back to Lesby Fit Adventures, the channel where we explore the world while staying fit and fabulous. That's right everyone, and today we're embarking on a journey to the heart of RV manufacturing in Elkhart, Indiana. We've heard a lot of incredible things about the Brinkley RV, and we're going to see if the Brinkley lifestyle is for us. We're going to take you on an exclusive tour of the factory to see how these magnificent Holmont wheels are made. But before diving into the factory tour, let's fill you in on a little Brinkley history. It's a brand new company founded in 2022. Five RV manufacturing leaders with decades of experience under their belt founded it. That's right, and they're quickly earning a reputation for innovation, quality, and customer satisfaction. It's no surprise that they're turning heads in such a short amount of time. We're particularly excited about Brinkley's standout model, the Model Z 3100. This offers all the modern luxuries while living on, on the road and it stands out amongst its competitors when it comes to safety features, but we'll get into those later. That's right, safety first, but let's not forget about the elegance of this modern new RV. This might just be the perfect tiny home on wheels that we've been dreaming of fully equipped full kitchen, modern elegance. It's just gonna be perfect for us as we travel on the road and host Lesby Fit Adventures and explore the great outdoors. So buckle up everyone as we embark on this adventure to the RV factory tour. We hope that by the end of the day, we have a much clearer idea if the Brinkley lifestyle is the right fit for us. It's gonna be a thrilling ride with surprises, insights, and fun. So let's hit the road and dive in to the Brinkley factory. We've been on quite the adventure the past few months as we've been touring RV dealerships, researching trucks and towing, and starting RV tech school. And it's all been leading up to this moment. We've been searching for the perfect rig that suits our needs and lifestyle. And guess what? I think we found it. The Brinkley RV. So why do we like Brinkley RV so much? Well, there's a few key reasons. First of all, their designs are sleek and modern. And we've been looking for the rig that not only performs well, but looks good. And we think that Brinkley fits the balance. Absolutely. Plus, they offer the exact floor plan we were looking for in the Model Z. Now, let's talk about the questions that we're most eager to get answered during our factory tour. First on the list, tire speed rating. We need to fully understand the rig's capabilities. After all, we've never towed anything before. Secondly, we're curious to understand Brinkley's culture and environment. They're a brand new company, and we're excited to see what separates them. Speaking of seeing, we want to see all the wiring, plumbing, and HVAC systems. Understanding the inner workings is essential for any RV owner. Next, we're looking to determine what generator will fit in the rig. Power is crucial when you're out on the road, and we want to be prepared for boondocking. And last but not least, solar panels. We want to know what's pre-wired to help us determine the right type of energy for our needs. So follow me this way as we head on in to the Brinkley Tour. And then just over there, I want to point out our wire harnesses, which is a huge deal. You know, early on, uh, 
in, in our past life, you know, how they do it with big spools of wire and they pull it through the chassis and, and sometimes it'll get nicked on a cross member and strip the coating of it and it'll ground out. Uh, Cooper 17 and a half inches. H rated 75. So this is the gray tank coming off the back. Gray tank from the kitchen. The back one's the black tank. Two gray tanks tied together and level off. And then we've got the electric butter red system. <laughs> is that they're all of your wiring is together you're not just gonna have a mess like they pre-wired it we showed you there before um, so you're not gonna be searching everything is gonna be color-coded and easy to find as we learn how to operate this rig in the future and then you've got your ductwork it just runs to one spot in the main living cabin which is just simple one spot clean easy it really simplifies the design which i like and appreciate one of the things i really want to highlight is the size of this trunk space when the rig was built and I was looking at it underneath, I knew it was a pretty good size, but this has got to be at least four feet by a four feet. And that's impressive, like a full folding table and anything we want can fit back here. And it can hold up to 400 pounds. And it's got an outlet and a light. And your HVAC runs through here. So it would be temperature controlled. You'd be able to open and close your ventilation system for temperature control back there should you need it. We're gonna have junk in the trunk. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot bigger. It'll definitely fit the table and everything you want yeah, to slide in there. Yeah, trunk storage will be great. Yeah. Your chairs. the batteries like in it? So we don't, we leave it completely up to you. We'll ship it with none. Because uh, if we, let's say, you know, we put one AGM in it or two lithiums and you want six volt golf cart batteries, well then you just paid for, paid for batteries, batteries you don't, you don't want. Do so. My kitchen. She's cooking already. <laughs> you gotta get a little taller so you can Yeah. Start. And she'll never cook. She, like, cook? Be real. <laughs> she doesn't oh, cook. And that's the finished desk, so this piece will pop out when you don't need it and slide in. And then we'll have a rollover sofa right here, but they've shorted us. Yeah. This is beautiful. This is, here. yeah. It's just such a great multi purpose area, you know, whether you use it for bunkers or I'm sure that's my wife, office. and I could pull the extra six feet. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you think about the versatility oh, of yeah. this room 100%. and like how I mean, so many different families can it. make mm -hmm. it work for their needs. I hear awesome. what you're saying. So this is yeah, I think a lot set. of this is pretty similar to the 3100 in here. Yeah. Check this out. Medicine cabinet. Oh, yeah, he's running that AC. Oh, that's, uh, Plenty of storage. Oh, that's, that's it. That's the max cool. How quiet is that? Is to give you an safe? idea, I can get all the way in this closet completely. And I only own 16 shirts. Are they screens? The ones that open. Yeah, yeah you go up from the bottom, yeah. So that's the screen? Yeah. So that goes all the way up. That's oh, the screen. That's your screen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's all tucked in if you don't want it. Yeah. So cool to me, Brendan. I was like, I, I thought I felt like we met a celebrity. I know. <laughs> I was like, I know him. I know, I was too. And he was so sweet and charming and knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable. What were you just saying before we turned the camera on? He was just so like his attitude. He just kept saying like, "Oh, we're so blessed for this," and as you can just tell, he's so happy and grateful and blessed and excited and loves what he does. Which we talked about like being able to see the culture there and everybody even. So we were there early and sat in the parking lot. And the lady that came out and talked to us. Mm -hmm. All the employees seemed so nice. Like the lady that checked us in and yeah. that one lady when we were just sitting outside waiting to go in and 
she was on her break and came out and just chatted with us. Yeah. It was a great experience in regards to the cultural experience. Um, but also, every question we asked, he absolutely knew the answer. He knew the rigs. Like, he was excited and passionate about the product. Which just like, that's so contagious, right? Like that's what we went for. We wanted to drink the Brinkley Kool-Aid. So that was um, everything we could have put before in that regard for sure. Yeah, and any question we had, like you said, he knew the answer, but it was like, they thought of it, man, they're 10 steps ahead. Like it's, yes. Yeah, so the speed rating on those tires is 75 miles an hour, which is plenty, it's great. And they, um, even though it'll tell you that they're officially rated for 14,995 pounds, they've actually been tested to over 16,000 pounds. So it just, there was a lot of safety things that it were in there that were above and beyond what I was hoping to find, um, which really, it's boosted my confidence overall. Yeah. It was an awesome ex experience. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool to meet you, Brandon. Yeah. I, when you walked in, I was like, it was like a celebrity sighting for me. It was so fun. <laughs> it was so cool. They, it, Brinkley is doing a great job. Um, and the facility, man, and all the employees were so, you just see everybody working hard and good, but the place was so clean and cleaned up. And Yeah. And while we were sitting there waiting, because like she said, we were early and we went in a bit uh, into the building a bit early and there were people coming in looking for work, like applying for jobs, but just the way that they're embracing and wrapping their arms around the community um, was something that stood out to me. What were the other questions? Okay, so solar, it's got 370 watt panel on the rig and it is wired for another 370 watt panel before you would have to make any changes or upgrades to anything else in the rig. Um, so that was good to know. That was one of the questions that we had going in that we were able to get answered today. Um, talk about the generator. I know you filmed that in, in depth, but what were your biggest takeaways? Um, everything's pre-wired, so it's pretty simple. We recommended the name of the generator. It's pre-wired for the Onin and a different one that I cannot remember get that we'll get that but that's the one we'll go with because it has the inverter inverter, the inverter generator and, yeah so well, it's not just constantly running full blast that's, it's only going to pull what you need which is what we want which it's is more important. efficient and it's quieter essentially is what that boils down to yeah um but yeah he gave me kind of the information that i needed in regards to what the dealership will need to build it out put it in pretty easy so i'm excited because that'll be essential with the boot document we want to do we didn't feel bigger or smaller in there today. Um, I don't know because you know we weren't in there by ourselves. And there was three other people. Maybe in that's there why with it us. felt smaller. Yeah, like there were three other people in there with us, and they were two of them were um, like other people touring with us, and then Brendan, our tour guide. But you know, we were able to see the HVAC system, the wiring, the plumbing, kind of where all that was rough behind everything. So yeah, videoed it probably just for our reference if we ever need it. And one thing I really want to point out and highlight, because I don't know how good of a job we did that during the tour itself, was how all of their wiring, like everything that they're running, wiring, HVAC, plumbing, all of that is um, specifically with the wiring. It, it's all color coded, it's all pre-labeled, and it's all um preset so they're plugging they're not like pulling one wire through at a time as they wire each thing it's all ready to go and then they're connecting them um and just the fact that it's color coded and labeled is a huge difference oh yeah all right so overall you feel more or less confident about the brinkley after today oh i'm pumped yeah i think it's the one i uh i would have to agree i feel pretty excited just gotta get that truck locked down. So stay tuned next week as we, Eric's, stay tuned for tomorrow's episode as we hit the road. We're leaving in two days to go back to Phoenix, Arizona. Join us on that adventure. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, if you subscribe, be sure to write I subscribed in the comments so that we can reach out to you. We wanna connect with you directly. I'm Sydney. I'm Mandy. And we're Lesby Fit Adventures. What's your heart tells you is where you need to be ah, What your heart tells you is what you need to see Never settle for anything less than everything Never settle for anything less than everything
are excited to see what sets, separates. We're excited to see! I nailed it! <laughs> and then you just like crumbled! You goof, you did totally nail it! <laughs> and then you just. <laughs> see! Secondly, we're curious to understand Brinkley's culture and environment. They're a brand new company, and we're excited to see. <laughs> Every time I came to leave, it was like <laughs> one of those moments where you laugh. We're so excited. We're just sitting here. We got here early. We got like an hour until our tour. Sitting in the back of the raft, just looking at the RV factory, watching the RVs whip by. Hoping I can learn how to back this thing up. Watching this guy with the forklift. Not his first rodeo.